YouTube, Elgato brought out this really cool software called the Stream Deck Mobile. Basically what it is, it's a virtual Stream Deck that you can use on your phone or iPad, so Android or iOS. It's a free program you can download. It comes with six keys and you can have a premium uh, upgrade too, which unlocks 64 keys. Basically what it is, it's like the old Stream Deck, but you can do it at your fingertips on your mobile device, which is actually really cool. You actually have a lot more keys as well. You actually set up two different screens and do so much customization. I've got my Stream Deck mobile using the death counters, the timer, we've got a screenshot, lighting, uh, lots of different custom stuff. Whether you're a streamer or content creator, or you just want a big macro pad at your fingertips to use, a very, very great piece of our software here. You can do custom themes or custom backgrounds, and it's super easy to select them, and you can also purchase some through there as well. Uh, this is an example of me on the iPad here doing the selections. As you can see, it's just all at your fingertips and super easy to use. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description of the video and any of Elgato's wonderful products you can check it out too people let's get into the battles what's up at you for today's video we have a full monkey team seven years ago i did a monkey team and two years ago i did another monkey team so i thought i'd include some of the monkeys which weren't in the game before on this team now i've got four battles today with the monkey or ape like pokemon team and i hope you enjoy um, I haven't put up a theme team for about a week or so, so I made sure today's video was uh, nice and long. First battle here, there's a random battle on the Poker Portal. Uh, this against uh, Aliandro, and we have a Skelly Dirge Lead. It's also called Steve Irwin, so I, I got that nickname. Now, my first Pokemon here is going to be Slay King. We've got a special Slay King, and it's going to be a max special attack and max speed set. We've got that modest nature, a uh, Hyper Beam, Focus Miss, Fire Miss, and Terror Blast. Terror Blast, go. Now, the item this has is Eject Button as well, so I could go for a Hyper Beam and then I'd get hit by the opponent and eject me out of the battle, so I wouldn't be uh, recharging for a 10. So, Skeletor is going to get probably surprised by a, um, a Terror Blast Ghost and it's going to go for Yawn. I was hoping it would probably go for an attacking move like Torch Song or something. So, Slaking, unfortunately, is forced to swap out and now we're going to go into Ambipom. So, we got a special Ambipom here as well. I knew that. I'd probably go for a Shadow Ball or Torch Stong. Probably more leaning towards Shadow Ball. So that's why I swapped Ambipom in. So this is a Swift Water Pulse Mud Shot Nasty Plot set. It's a special one. We got the ability Technician. So boosting up Swift Water Pulse and Mud Shot. And I've got Wise Glasses as the item. Max Speed and Max Special Attack uh, Tibbet Nature. And, you know, it worked pretty well. This had Terra Type Normal as well. So we've got the uh, Skeletor Fainting and Gold Dingo. What? I'm not sure what that nickname is. I had to double read that for a second. And now it's going to go for a Flash Cannon. So I'm actually able to almost take out Gold Dango in two hits. It was very, very close. I was happy with the amount of damage I did with the uh, the special uh, Ambipom. Kind of underrated special Ambipom, in my opinion. Also, people, what is your favorite monkey or ape-like Pokemon? Put it below in the comment section of the video. I'd like to know. And if you enjoyed the videos, people, if you would love them in your day or your night, you want to support the channel, hit that like button. Only takes a uh, quarter of a second. So we got a Zerudi. It's a physical set. We got a Bullet Seed Fury Swipe set. A true Pinwright special. So we got our uh, other moves, Bites and Sword Dance. The ability is Leaf Guard, and the item is going to be Wide Lens. I almost did a uh, load of dice, but I decided to go for Wide Lens instead because uh, Fury Swipes. Uh, yeah, kept missing over and over again. Now, the Terror I've got on this one is going to be Terror Normal. Go for that Terror Normal Fury Swipes. And the EVs are Max Attack and Max Speed. Uh, we got Jolly Nature on this, so that's my EV spread. So, unfortunately, Hatterene is going to get rid of my Zerud, and we're going to go back into Slaking. So, I'm going to go for Terror Blast Ghost here. Terror Blast Ghost looks actually really, really cool on Slaking. It's sort of like, you know, when they're sitting on its side of it, and the little ghost is sort of hanging off its head. So, that's the end of our Sabrina. So, the next Pokemon to come at it is going to be... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what the, if, if this is some sort of theme team or, like, random characters are... Uh, this opponent is using. Let me know in the comment section of the video. Um, they're going to go for a Night Slash. So this is a bulky Infernape. And this Infernape is uh, it's actually pretty interesting. So we've got Max Health, Max Health, and Max Speed, Jolly Nature. So I've got 
Fire Spin, sorry, Naive Nature, so not Jolly. So we've got Fire Spin, Slack Off, Willow Miss, and Dig. That's my uh, move set. Item is going to be Grip Claw, and Ability is going to be Blaze. So in comes the Garchomp. I fortunately used Willow Miss there on the swap, and the Gar I have no idea what their name is, is going to be Burn, which is great. So I'm thinking I should be able to stall out Garchomp with Infernape now. I'm going to be out speeding and getting the Fire Spin. So I've got Fire Spin damage and Will-O-Wisp damage. So I've trapped that Garchomp. And Garchomp's going to go for Stomping Tantrum here. Almost takes my Infernape out. That was very, very good. Even with the burn, I almost fainted with Max L. I mean, Infernape isn't exactly what you call a bulky Pokemon, right? But it's my favorite starter of all time. Fully evolved starter of all time. So I thought I'd do a couple of slack offs here while the... Uh, Guard Chop used Stompy Tantrum, and a Virtue is doing about the same amount of damage as Slack Off is healing off. So I'm like, I can actually win this matchup because I've got them locked down with Fire Spin. Now, this turn, I actually went for a dig. I thought it was pretty funny. And Guard Chomp's gone for a Sword then. It's a good play there because I, I guess I thought that, well, they're going to lose if they keep going for, um, you know, uh, Stomping Tantrum and I'll keep going for Slack Off. So I've got some Fire Spin damage here. I've got some Bird damage. I've got some Dig damage. Unfortunately, Dig did not take out the Garchomp and I got hit by the uh, the Ruskin there and the Stomping Tantrum will take out the Inferno, which was on one health. The merch was available. So that is the end of the Inferno, but a pretty good uh, outcome there. So Garchomp is like one hit away from fainting and it's not going to do a lot of damage. Next Pokemon is going to be Annihilate. Now, this set is a complete troll set. So, we've got Curse, Protect, Rest, and Seismic Toss. It's super bulky. And I was like, well, I'm going to go for the Protect there. Now, my opponent has gone for a Terror here. I'm like, oh, this is really good. Because that means they're going to actually waste their Terror here. Uh, obviously, they had no idea that I had Protect. So, they got for Terror Steel. I went for Protect. I was like, I wonder what move they're going to use here. Like, I don't know. Like, I was thinking, like, Iron or something. So, they went for the Iron Head there. And they, they fainted to the uh, to the will o -Wiz. So, that was definitely... I, I would have I would have gone Terror on another Pokemon. Like, maybe the Mouse Guard or the other Pokemon. But, I guess I'll try to get some damage in there. Next Pokemon's going to be Mouse Guard. Uh, they're going to go for a Night Slash here. A Protein Night Slash. Uh, my EVs were max health, and I also had max speed as well, Jolly Nature. Uh, my item was Chesto Berry, and I had the ability Inner Focus. So I put a curse on the Mouse Garter. Now, I thought they may predict they protect it, because I used that before, so I went for a rest. Unfortunately, they doubled up the Night Slash. I, I guess they just, you know, uh, didn't care about the damage that curse would do to them. So that's the end of Annihilate. I thought, well, I can go into my last Pokemon, which, of course, is going to be Rillaboom. Now, I was thinking about doing, including one of the the Loyal 3 there, but I just did a Loyal 3 team, so I thought I'd use some other one. So, this is a Mix Rillaboom, and it is going to be Max Special Attack and Max Speed Naive Nature. So, we've got Citrus Berry as the item. Ability is going to be an Overgrow, and we've got Drain Punt, Solar Beam, Sunny Day, and Grove. So, we've got Quack Hubble sliding in here. I know it's probably going to have an Ice Move. It's going to have an Ice Spinner. Rillaboom's pretty bulky, so it's able to live that one on 69 health, which is really, really good. And now I'm going to eat my Citrus Berry. Give me some uh, nice uh, deserved health back there. So now I can go for Solar Beam. Um, I can actually get that Growth going too. So I've got Growth, which will boost up my attack and special attack by two stages, which makes it a pretty good special attacker and, of course, physical attack as well. So that is the end of the uh, the Quack Quavel. It's going to fight the Solar Beam. Last Pokemon is the Meow Scudder. I know that I'm going to get outsped by this thing. I was like, I don't think I'll live a crit, but it did not crit me. And Rillaboom is going to send Meow Scudder to the moon. And that is it, people. That is the end of the very first battle. I got to say, I'd say I probably would have lived not very well. But I'd say Slaking would have lived that Night Slash there. It's got very good defense, but it would have been quite interesting. Anyway, thank you, Aliandro W, for the battle, whoever you are. Um, if you've ever seen this video, uh, let's go on to the second battle. This one is against Agron Guy. And we have got a pretty crazy team here. It is a full team of Baxcalibers. So I've got my Slaking lead here. We're going to go for the Focus Miss. And of course, it's going to miss. So we've got the uh, Baxcalibur going for a Focus Sorry, not a Focus Miss, a Focus Energy. Um, I, need, I need a focus ball. So it's going to have a uh, icy wind set, and that's going to activate my eject button, unfortunately. So what I was hoping for is to get focus this off, get some good damage, and then, you know, be hit by, like, an attacking move there. But it didn't work out, which is unfortunate. So now I'm going to go into Ambipop. Now, I know that I won't be able to fight this by no means. So I was like, let's go for Swift. I'll get some damage. 
it did all right as like a three hit KO. Baxcalibur has got some reasonable bulk to it. So a critical hit Icy win. So that's a three hit KO. So now it's going to go for Draco Meter. I can see what the set is all about here. It's a 100% critting set. I'd say they've got the item at Scopeland. So this is pretty dangerous. Like Draco Meter is going to be pretty powerful. So going into Slaking now, hoping that I can outspeed and get some damage here. Focus Miss misses again. So twice... And Draco Meta is going to land on my Slake. I'm like, yep, that's going to faint it because its special defense isn't all that good. So that is the end of two of my team now. Things are not looking good around like at all. I'm monkeying around too much. Next Pokemon is going to be Annihilate. Now, Annihilate might be able to get a curse off here. That's all I can uh, really do at this point. I might be able to curse and maybe protect and mate, possibly get a, a, a seismic toss up. I'm not really sure. Now, since we're doing like a monkey team, I reckon I should tell you people a couple of uh, uh, monkey jokes. What, what do you reckon about that? Now, what do you call a monkey holding a firework or like a firecracker? You know the things that uh, happen at New Year's Eve? Do you give up? A uh, baboom. Get it? Baboom, baboom. Anyway, that's my first show. I know you're on the floor rolling, laughing. Your chest hurts so much. It's that funny. So we've got uh, some curses up there on the Bax Calibre, which is uh, very, very good. I'm quite happy about that. Now, uh, the next Pokemon I'm sending it is going to be Zeru. We're going to swap there into Thix Calibre. So obviously, this is going to be a very, very thick set. So I thought I could set up Sword Dance against this. This is a uh, Bite Flinching set. Works quite well too. It's a little bit of fun. And uh, this is a Zeru Data because it's got its little, uh, its pink uh, little cape on the back there. It doesn't change its stats or anything like that. It's more like a, uh, you know, a a aesthetic, I guess. So we got Bax Caliber 2 swapping out, setting up the snow. And now we got Godzilla coming in here. So Godzilla uh, is going to be proving to be pretty hard to faint. So I went for Bite. I went for another one. I was like, this is good. Flinch. But I didn't get any flinches at all, and it's going to take me out of the blizzard. I was like, no, this is bad. So I've lost four Pokemon. I haven't, taken a, I haven't taken a single Pokemon out yet. And I've got Rillaboom left against six Ice types. It's not looking good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the uh, Terra Fighting, because we're going to go for Drain Punch and see if I can maybe change the weather around it. I can tell you what, like, it was desperation now here, people. So I've got the Terra Fighting. I'm ready to go for the uh, Drain Punch. But I thought before I do that, I'll get rid of the snow. That way the Blizzard may not land. But instead of going for Blizzard, they went for Hyper Beam. That almost fainted me. I was like, man, that did a heaps of damage. I had a Life Orb on top of that. So unfortunately, I couldn't get the growth up there on the recharge of Hyper Beam. That would have been really good, but... I guess at least I lived that and I was able to get rid of the snow. So next Pokemon's going to be Bax, Flincher, and Zen Headbutt misses. Thank goodness. So I went for the uh, Drain Punch. I got some good damage, but uh, with Rillaboom, um, even with Terra Fighting, it's not going to be enough. And, you know, Drain Punch isn't the strongest move out there. So, you know, I'm using it pretty much to uh, get my health back. So here comes another Zen Headbutt. It's super effective. Drain Punch is going to take Bax Calibur out. That was close. I, I was worried about getting flinched. You know, uh, I didn't get any flinched with my bite, so I was like, hopefully I don't get any flinched with their Zen headbutts. Now, the next Pokemon is Back Slam. I was like, oh, what is this going to be? So I went for Drain Punch. They had good quality damage. It's a 2 hit KO, and I got some... Uh, I'm on 69 health, by the way. And I got some mice health back. Now, it's going to use Body Slam. It's like, oh, I know what that nickname means now. So, no Paralyze, which is very good. And Back Slammer is, uh, is going to be slammed. So I've got... Three Pokemon down. Can Rillaboom get me back into this game? That's three Pokemon down. Uh, three to go. That's the end of the sunlight, so I, I doubt I'm going to be able to get a growth up. Uh, we got Insur Insurrector here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go for a Dragon Dance. Oh, this is bad. This is definitely going to be a physical set. Uh, probably a physical, like a uh, very powerful physical sweeping set. So I got Drain Punch off there. Good damage. I was very worried about the next attack. I was like, it's probably going to use Ice Will Crash. And as I was thinking of that, it used it. Rillaboom lived that. And I actually lived that and got the Drain Punch off there, which is very, very good. So Rillaboom has taken up four backs calibers back to back now. It's actually clutching back into this game for me. Now, the next Pokemon is Thix Caliber. We've seen this before. And I'm going to go for Drain Punch again. Good damage. I need like one more to take it out. Plus, I'm getting health back too. Thank goodness I put Drain Punch on this thing. So now Bax Caliber is going to set the Snarf. I'm like, all right, that's fair. I didn't take any damage at all. I know that they're, they're going to become like more bulky due to that uh, snow up there and Ice Body. 
So I thought, you know what? I'm going to set the sun up again. Let's get rid of the snow. Now, this time it used Breaking Swipe, which is a bit annoying because that actually dropped my attack. It didn't do a lot of damage, but it is dropping my attack, which means Drain Punch is not going to be doing as much, and I won't be healing myself as much. So they're going to continue going for that uh, Breaking Swipe there. I need to probably swap this turn and bring it back in. So I'm swapping it out, going to Inferno. Now, with Inferno, I was a little bit worried because of Thermal Exchange, because, like, you know, which ones of these are going to have Thermal Exchange? Like, what one's going to have Ice Body? You know, that type of thing. So, I know this one doesn't have it, because I've seen, uh, seen it before. So, I went for the Fire Spin. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough to take it out, and Baxcalibur is going to get rid of my sun and put the snow off again. Uh, Ice Body is not going to be enough to lift the, uh, the effects of Fire Spin, though. So, at least that was, like, a, a positive thing, getting rid of that. So, that's five Baxcalibur down. There's one more left. And it's this one that actually destroyed me beforehand. So it's a fr frozen soul. Uh, I get it because it's like a ghost and it's frozen. You know, it's, it's letting it go. So we're going to have a focus energy, of course. I went for a dig and it's getting pumped up here. I knew that dig probably wouldn't do a lot of damage here. I was actually trying to stall out the snow at the same time too. So I got that dig. Draco Meteor has missed. Alert, it's missed, which is good. So some more fire, uh, fire spin damage here. I'm going to go for that. It doesn't take out, obviously. And I'm going to take a pretty big hit here. So it's going to be Terra Ghost, or Terra Blast Ghost. I've got Max Health. I'm like, well, I should be able to live this badly. We'll see. And Infernape lived on 9 health on the crit, which is amazing. So now it's going to take some damage from fire spin. And I actually can go for the dig here because it was free from the fire spin. So I, I dug underneath the ground. It's going to go for Terra Blast, and I'm going to finish the back Scalarob off with a good quality dig, you know? And that, you know, that's the end of the game. But I have to say there, the Rillaboom was complete clutch there. If I, if I didn't have that Drain Punch, I would I, I, I don't even know if I would have fainted a Pokemon there. But that was a crazy battle. Thank you to the battle, Agron guy. Man, if the video doesn't deserve a like after the bat that battle, I don't know what does. That was insane. Let's go on to battle number three here. This is a battle against uh, Joshua Piles, and we have a we have a, a, a pretty of a uh, bit of a trolling team here to say the least. So we've got a Dark Ride lead, and I've got my Slaky. I'm, I'm I'm hoping we can get that Focus Mister Land this time. However, Dark Ride's gone for a fling, big. Nugget. Now, interestingly enough, the big nugget is one of the well, is the most powerful item, or one of the most powerful items to actually fling at the opponent, which is a pretty funny when you think about. Like, I know you imagine like in real life getting a massive nugget and just you know flinging it at someone. Actually, that does make sense. That would really, really hurt. So anyway, into the route here. We're gonna see if we can set up this. Darkrai is going for dank voids and they're missing, which is very, very good. So I thought this would be appropriate time to go for uh, the Pip Knight Special Furious swipes here. So we've got four hits, which is pretty good. And uh, it's going to go for a thief now, stealing my items. So it's going to get rid of my wide lens. Like, oh, I need to fake this now because, you know, with wide lens, dark void uh, could be a problem. So I'm going to get rid of that with a bullet seed. Uh, that is the end of the dark right there. I guess that's where loaded dice would have been probably more handy there because I could have gone for bullet seed and probably fainted on the uh, first go. So next one is going to be Palkia. I'm going to go for bullet seed. It's the best move that I've got here. And they did good damage. So if I had loaded dice, it would have fainted. So I got three hits. Palki is going to go for an Icy Wind. Now, Icy Wind is going to drop my speed as well. It's like, yeah, I'm probably going to get outsped it, but I don't know what other moves it's going to use, so I'm just going to keep it in. So, Zuri did a pretty good job. I lived on two health. I was like, yes, that was amazing live. So, I must have got like a, a max and then a min damage, I'd say. And Palkia is going to be, uh, it's going to be fighting this. So we've got that quality one hit. Next Pokemon is going to be Rayquai. So, now, you watch this. This is, this is, this is cruel. So Rayquaza slides in there, slippery slide. It's going to go for a fling, full restore. Here it comes, and it should have healed me. Come on, man. That full restore should have healed me all the way up to full health, but I'm fainting. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what sort of hacks are going on right now. Now, the next Pokemon I'm going to bring in is Annihilate. I just got fainted by a full restore, so the salt levels are starting to rise here. So I went for Curse. Annihilate really couldn't do much in this situation. I just thought it'd be a good idea to get a curse up on this fling full restore Rayquaza. Only opinion on our channel, people. Now, we've, oh, we've got a, uh, was the camera angle of Rayquaza's beautiful, massively uh, elongated uh, neck there. And it's, it's massive by, by like ginormous biceps. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be Slaky. It air slashed me, and then I got flinch. You wouldn't read about it. So, I was going to go for a hyper beam there, and Rayquaza. It, it got off for free. Uh, now it's going to fight me with a twister. Now the salt levels are really starting to rise. So first it was full, a uh, big nugget, full restore. 
uh, you know, Fling, Full Restore, and now we've had Twister. So this Rayquaza, it needs to go. So we're going to go into uh, Airby Pom. I've got Swift. It's all ready to go. I outspeed the Rayquaza, and it's going to faint it, which is good. The uh, critical hit didn't matter there, unless it was like, I'm not sure, Max Health Rayquaza or something. I don't know, something insane like that. Now, the next Pokemon's going to be ground on, mate. You might be able to see what sort of team this is now. I mean, it's, it's not Obviously, it's a legendary team, but what else are, are these sets doing? So, Groudon's going to go for a fling here. It's going to fling a boost here. And like, oh, this is good. I should get a boost here, right? But it didn't. I didn't get flung a boost at all. So, that would be amazing. Like, a, a cool little strategy you could do. Like, fling the boost energy, then the boost energy, uh, you know, has the effect on the opponent or your ally. But, unfortunately, it doesn't. It's just like a raw base power from fling. So... You know, the salt levels are starting to rise again here. I'm being paralyzed. Now I'm being, like, flinched by Iron Head. And I managed to get off a Mud Shot. Because I know that Groudon, it's not super duper fast. And I actually managed to outspeed, which is pretty cool, and faint the Groudon. So, very, very nice there getting rid of the Fling Boost Energy Groudon. Wow. You'll never see these sets again. Next Pokemon's one's going to be your boy, Malnourished Mewtwo. Um, I, I don't have any berries there. It's going to Fling. It's fl it flung a fresh start Mochi at me. Man, my stats got reset, you know. All my EVs, they just got completely wiped out. I'm going to have to you know, re ev that uh, Ambipom again, man. I get very solid. So here comes the stored power. Now, I think just judging on the moves that I've seen here, that Mewtwo is using its weakest moves that it knows. So I know a couple. I was like, the other move could be like Confusion. And then I use Sunny Day, but they had Weather Ball. You wouldn't read about it. So Rillaboom is going to faint. Like, Rillaboom didn't do, like, too much apart from that Vax Calibur clutch there. Next Pokemon's going to be Infernate. Now, I have to say this. Infernate really isn't the Pokemon that I ever wanted to Terra at all. It, it was just a, a trolling support Pokemon. So, normally, I would Terra Slaking, Zarude, or Ambipom, or Rillaboom. Like, Annihilate and Infernape, I never would even consider, uh, you know, doing that at all. So, Mewtwo, of course, has got the Mighty Confusion. He did a lot of damage, by the way. And I went for Fire Spin. Good damage. That's like... That's like a two-hit KO with that sun up there. So I trapped uh, I trapped uh, Mewtwo in the sun, which is good, in, in the uh, fire spin. And the sun's going there. And now it's going to go for stored power. I just thought I could just try and stall it out with Slack off here. Because I, I felt like I could live... You know, Confusion was a, a quality three-hit KO against my bulky Infernite, right? So here comes another Confusion. I know that I can live one more. Fire spin miss. I was like, oh, come on. So I know that I can live the next one. The sunlight actually faded, which sucks too. And I need like, what, two more turns to take out Mewtwo. Now Mewtwo's going to go for Confusion this time. Uh, Infernape is just going to live that and get another slack off here, which is good, you know. I was thinking I might be able to get uh, a dig going here or just completely stall the Mewtwo because I need one more. I need like this, this thing in good health for the last Pokemon as well. So, Stored Power's going to do nothing. I would, Whatever attack Mewtwo did now, I would have lived it. Whether it be like normal Weather Ball or whatever. And uh, Mewtwo is going to faint to the Fire Spin. I think that was the very last turn of Fire Spin too. Uh, wait, no, it wasn't because I had the uh, the Grip Claw. No, it would have lasted longer. Last Pokemon's going to be Meloetta. I got a Fire Spin up. I thought that was going to be important. I was like, well, after that, I could go for will o Wisp, depending on you know what this is going to do. So, Meloetta's going to go for a Relic Song here. Relic Song's going to do a decent amount of damage to my Infernape, and it's going to transform into its Pirouette form too. So, this Pokemon's more physically offensive, and uh, obviously, the other Meloetta is more special defense. So, it's going to use a Fling Comet Shard. Man, I think that was, uh, I think that could have been 10 or 20 base power there. <laughs> and the uh, Mel uh, Meloetta Pirouette is going to be burned. So obviously their theme team is a fling Pokemon team, like flinging different items at, uh, at the opponent. So I don't know whether I've actually done that team before. I have a feeling that I have, but I don't know. Maybe a real avid Pimp Night viewer that's watched all my theme teams and videos would know if I've done that. I, I think that I have, but it would have been a really, really long time ago. Um, I have to say, I, I, I have a feeling I have done that. Anyway, so we've got a Terra here from uh, Melo. I was kind of curious when they were with our Terra the Pokemon. I was like, is this going to be maybe Terra Normal? But it's going to be Terra Psychic. I'm like, all right, fair enough. Uh, this is going to be uh, interesting. I wonder what Psychic move we've got. It. So it's going to be using Terra Psychic Zen Headbutt, obviously to try and flinch me. So this actually hit pretty hard considering it was burned there. And I got flinched. I'm like, oh, don't you dare. The only good thing here was I had the burn damage and the fire spin going. So the next hit had to be a critical hit here to take out my Inferno. So here it comes. It did land. Inferno 
is only just going to live on 22 health. And I just thought I'd decide to end the battle with a digger. Dig underneath the ground. I don't know what happened to uh, the flames of my head. They must have gone out in the sand or whatever. And Malawetta is going to fake to a, a fire spin and a bird. And that is the end of the third battle. Hope you enjoyed the uh, fling Pokemon team. Very, very cool. I'm still salty about that, uh, you know, that full restore, you know, not healing me. I'm very, very salty about that. Let's get on to battle number four. This is the fourth and final battle for today's video. Uh, this one is against Huddown, and we got a, uh, a mighty Tarantula lead. Now, I had a feeling with my Ambipom here that it would have uh, Focus Sash, so I was like, let's see if I can get a, uh, a Confusion on. So I got a crit, and then I got a Confusion. Like, wow, that's, that's pretty lucky landing those two things. So Tarantula, I'd say it's pro probably definitely going for a Sticky Whip here. Unfortunately, it does not hit itself in Confusion, and it gets its web off. So, you know, it, it was worth a try there to go for that. So I'm going to finish it off with the Swift. I'm going to be pretty salty if that was an Everlight set, but I say it probably would have been Focus there. So that's the end of a Tarantula. Next Pokemon's going to be Scovalloon. So uh, with this Ambipop, I'm going to set up the Nasty Pop. So I feel like I can live one attack uh, from this Pokemon. So it's going to go for Trailblaze. Trailblaze does a good amount of damage, but it is a three-hit KO um, if that's its strongest attack, which is like, it, it probably is. It's probably got like another one. So it's going to get a Moody Boost there. I went for Swift. I outsped it again, which is really... And then I won shot. I was like, man, that uh, that was actually pretty good uh, with the Nasty Plot and the Technician. So I don't know what sort of set that Scovelin was. So out comes Cresselia. That was actually really good damage to Cresselia when you think about it. Think how bulky Cresselia is. So Cresselia is going to paralyze me. So obviously I'll get outsped this scent and we've got Terra. So like, all right, a Terra Cresselia. I wonder what Terra this could be. Like a, the probably the best Terra Cresselia is like, oh, I'd say it would be electric. So we got a Terra Psychic Cresselia. Now I was kind of curious what move is coming my way here. Now it's going to be a physical Cresselia. So, oh, okay, that's nice. And Psycho Cut does not take me out. A little bit unlucky they're not getting the crit. And uh, Ambipop is actually going to finish off the Cresselia too. Cresselia looks sort of like small there. I don't know. Maybe that's like a small Cresselia. Next Pokemon is going to be the Articuno. Uh, Articuno's got like some... It's got like a weird metallic uh, lighting on. It, looks, it kind of looks different. Anyway, it's going to be boosting its speed with the GLT. I just went for Swift here. Swift does pretty good damage. Articuno's got some nice special bolt to it. And it's going to finish me off with a Ancient Power. No boost for the Articuno. Thank goodness. That would be very, very bad. Next Pokemon is going to be Annihilate. Now, Annihilate could possibly get a curse off here. Um, I, I don't have Define or anything like that either, so I've got, I've got into focus. Here comes the uh, Air Slash, which is actually uh, it's actually good that I had that because I had no chance of getting flinched at all. So I've got the Air Slash uh, Leaf, and I've got the Curse uh, off, which is good. That's the best I could pretty much, you know, do in that uh, situation. Now, I've got, I've got another joke for you as well. What is... What do you call a monkey who likes uh, Pringles? You know those Pringles chips? You know, they're in like a canister. Do you give up? A chipmunk. Get it? A chipmunk. Anyway, I know you're laughing at that one. You've, you've, you I hope you leave a comment there with your best monkey and uh, or ape joke. I'd like to hear them. But I've told you two absolute bangers so far. So uh, Ruler Boom is going to get sent to the moon there by, uh, was that a, uh, not a sheer cold? A, um... Or any sort of ice move, right? I think it was a freeze dry. So freeze dry is going to fake me, and then the Articuno is going to fake to that. I sent out Rilla Boom, so I thought that's uh, probably the best use of it in this battle. So we're going to swap in Slakey now. I want to see if we get that maybe a Hyper Beam off. And the next Pokemon is going to be a Q Fan. So like, oh, well, I don't think I'll go for Hyper Beam here. I might go for Fire Blast. You know, that's super effective. So I've gone for Fire Blast. I am max speed. Q Fan actually lives it like really well. And then it got a Fissure off, and it lands Fissure on the first go. I'm like, come on. So Slaking is going to uh, enter the, 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 the center of the Earth there. It's going to have a journey to the center of the Earth. That was actually a pretty good uh, movie, if you ever watched that. Or read the book, you know. they they What they do is they uh, they, they, they journey to the center of the Earth. Anyway, next Pokemon's going to be Infernape. And uh, we're going to see if we can get a, maybe a Fire Spin going here, or a will or wisp So in comes Giratina here. And uh, it's not in its origin form. I'm going to go for Fire Spin and see if I can get some damage going. Now, this Giratina is actually quite a problematic Pokemon because it was a very, very bulky set because it had uh, leftovers on it. And I really couldn't do a lot of damage to it. It's not like I had like some very powerful moves. So I had to try and get its health down here. So I went for will o -Wisp. That would at least get rid of you know, its leftovers. And then I could rely on Fire Spin to get some damage. I wasn't sure 
if it had any forms of recovery either. And it's going to be a PP stalling set with Spite. So it's going to get rid of my, my Will-O-Wisp. I mean, that's probably the best thing it could get rid of there. I guess the worst thing would be like getting rid of Slack Off and, uh, you know, Fire Spin at this stage here. Because that's sort of like this Infernape's uh, bread and butter. Well, on, on, the, on this set anyway. I don't think anyone's going to use that. So I went for a dig here. I tried to stall out a little bit. I've dug underneath the ground. It's going to use Spite again. That's going to miss. And uh, now I can go for a dig against the Giratina. I was thinking if I can maybe soften this Giratina up and then hit it with my other Pokemon for a little bit hard, that might, yeah, that could possibly do the job there as well. Like, possibly. Uh, anyway, so some more damage. Yeah, I've got it to, like, over a quarter health now. Damage is good. And now it's going to use Protect. Like, oh, come on. So I've got Zerud left. So I thought Zerud could actually do some pretty good damage here um, if it was able to get, like, a Sword Dance up and uh, Bite. Like, Bite's super effective. So I was sort of fighting a losing battle here if it had a healing move, which, I don't know. I had a feeling that it probably did have one. I wasn't 100%, though, but I had this little feeling like, that it had Rest or something annoying like that. So I uh, got some more damage here with the bird and the fire spin. I swapped out my Inferno Ape here and I went into the rude. So I thought I should. This seems like a pretty passive uh, Giratina. So I'm going to have my uh, my speed drop there by the sticky web. And now Giratina uses Dragon Breath. Like, oh, that didn't do very much, but it paralyzed me the first go. Like the very first go. I'm like, oh, come on. So now Giratina's going to get some leftovers. Um, it's not going to be hit by the fire spin anymore because I swapped out Inferno, but it, you know, there's a little bit of burn damage there. So at this stage, like, all right, I think they may try and go for a status move here again or protect. So I went for Sword Dance this turn. So I got the Sword Dance at, at worst if I went for Dragon Breath. I, I would have lived like, as you can see, I could probably live like another three or four of those. So some more, unless I get paralyzed, of course, that, that's always the problem. So Giratina is going to take some damage and it's going to heal some damage with the burn and leftovers combination here. I've got Bite. It's ready to go. Here comes the spot when I'm about to use Bite, and that's going to get rid of my Sword Dance here. Here comes the Bite. This should be enough to paint it, and it was. So that's very, very good. All that's left now is the, the bulky Fissure Qfin from earlier on. I was hoping. I was hoping I could get around this thing. So Qfin is going to outspeed. Fissure is going to miss, thank goodness. And Zeru can get the Bite off here, and that is the end of the little elephant, and that is also the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, people. I'll catch you tomorrow with some more content. Peace out.